Good afternoon. A 12-year-old boy is accused of burning a dog with a makeshift blowtorch. And when police responded to the boy's home, they found a lot more than they bargained for. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt is live in Roswell with the story. Kim, three kids, including a baby, were taken from the same home after police say they found them living in filth. A 17-year-old girl called police Saturday from this Roswell home on South Mulberry, claiming her 12-year-old brother was burning her dog. He had burned her Chihuahua Mix's dog's ear so bad, it actually burned the hair off the dog's ears and had started blistering the skin. Uh, we learned that he was actually using a cologne bottle and a lighter, kind of making a um, makeshift type torch. The 12-year-old boy was arrested and charged with extreme animal cruelty, but on the same call, police found seven people were living in squalor at the home. There was some animal feces, uh, just pure dirt, uh, just uh, not taking care of home, uh, and not something that comes over one or two days. Uh, this is something that you definitely could tell had been going on for long periods of time. Police say rooms inside the home were so cluttered they could not walk in them. The Children, Youth, and Families Department was called and removed a 4-month-old, 16-month-old, and a 13-year-old from the home. The children were placed in temporary foster care. Police say they did not find drugs in the home and have not pursued criminal charges against the adults. At this time, do not see it as a criminal issue. We more see it as a concern issue of the uh, health of the children. Adults who live at the home refused to comment, but did say they were in the process of cleaning up. The Chihuahua is recovering at a vet's office. Hopefully, we'll be able to, through CYFD, get that family the help it needs, uh, some counseling, some help to get things cleaned up, and in a more livable condition, especially for the small children. Police say the family has had an extensive history with CYFD. CYFD officials would not comment except to say a judge will likely decide by tomorrow if the children will be returned to their parents. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Gabrielle. Now the vet says the Chihuahua may lose an ear.